Hey guys, so we are going to be trying some font tricks with skinny fonts. So I'm just going to make this really big so that I can see it better. Turn on that infill. And then I'm going to find a font, probably this one. Oh, it does have a hole in the E. That's why I... Uh, try to find one that you can see that it will get thicker. Probably should do that beforehand. Okay, so this isn't the thinnest font I have, but it'll work. So, this is your font. Um, right now it is saved as lettering. It can be edited. You're going to come over here and hit convert to path. And that's going to change it into being like an image. You're not going to be able to edit it anymore. Once you hit decompose, this is going to make it an outline file. So if you were to look, you will see that each letter has its own outline. So now you can click and drag just over the bottom of all of these pieces. So you'll see I got everything except the eye. I missed the eye. You can weld those. Then you can go back in and weld your eye. So now if you were to do this, you have your outside frame and you have your inside pieces. We, put that back. We are gonna copy paste this. Sorry, my camera's going to be all over the place. I was trying to do it with screen recorder, and then I didn't realize I didn't have a microphone. So, that didn't help. Okay, so we are going to select just this outline piece that we have here. We're going to offset it, this little option right here, offset. And we'll do about point fifty. If that's not big enough for you guys to see the difference, then... Uh, let's do a one offset round one millimeter okay now you can see it so you can see that our letters are nice and doubled so we're gonna go ahead and weld that and then we're gonna click and select the whole thing and you can do two things you can hit this difference button which is going to give you back your holes permanently, or you can just hit the group button because once you group it, it's not going to move. So this is the one that we made thicker, and this is how big it was before. So again, not that much of a difference, but it could be. You could go higher. The second way... second way of doing this okay so actually it is pretty thicker <laughs> this is the original and this is the one that we thickened so we're gonna do it again showing you a different method so we're gonna hit that decompose button and that separates let's turn off our infill so I can see here get you out of the way okay so I moved it a little bit but it's alright if you are having trouble selecting just the bottom of your letter, like I can even go higher. I can go probably up to about there and still be good. You will be able to see that your outline is blue and your inner pieces are black. Just try to select that outline without your inner pieces. But if you don't know how, to do that or you can't do it because with certain letters they do overlap and it it gets tricky so what you can do is you can just weld this completely like this you want us you also want to move that here let me if you're doing it for a cutout file you want to move that dot for your eye down and make it together okay so now we are going to offset We'll do 1.2 this time round to see offset. And now this is our new outline. We have two different, two different layers. So we're gonna weld these. And then you're like, oh wow, I have my outline, but I don't have my inner pieces. So you can just take these.
and then you don't need this. Ta-da! And then this, once you have it all together, you can hit the group button, which will just hold it all together, or you can hit the, what is the name of it? Difference button. So I use the difference button and infill is on. So this is the one that we made thicker by just collecting the outline. This is the one that we made thicker by deleting the inside pieces and then putting them back. And just so you can see, it probably is obnoxiously longer than it has to be. This is the one before we thickened it. So before, after selecting the outline and welding, after removing the pieces and welding. I hope that's helpful. Um, if you need more help, I can try and do videos for other things. It's just my kids drive me crazy. <laughs>